This would not be possible without the Knights of Columbus. I've been coming uh, to this event for five years now, and it's just phenomenal. After the visit of Pope John Paul II, the Knights of Columbus decided then that we should have a living rosary in memory of the visit and to honor our Blessed Lady. The Rosary Sunday, it's a procession with the Eucharist and we have the living rosary. Um, it's been going on for 32 years and I know for the people here, it's a great witness um, of their faith. Today was Rosary Sunday and I really thought it was a time where people will reflect on how blessed they are to have Mary as their mother. The only thing that can change the world sometimes is prayer and Our Lady's intercession. And people who will come here on Rosary Sunday will see that example and take it home with them, pray with their families at home, and realize that prayer does change things. As a night, I'm so proud to be part of the part of this ceremony today at Holy Mass. The one thing I like about the Rosary Sunday is each rosary they, they say in a different languages bring us together as Catholics. To be able to come and to pray with a crowd, you know, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand people, for me that's really gratifying to be able to know that the church is still alive. The Knights of Columbus is basically we are a tool to help evangelize and what a better way, this is the, the way to do it through the rosary. What I love about the Knights of Columbus is the fraternity. I knew the scripture said about men sharpen men, iron sharpen iron. And I knew I needed some good friends around me. And I knew the Knights of Columbus were those friends. The Knights of Columbus here get involved with their parishes. They're very involved with fundraising and very much giving back to the community. They're visible. And I think that's something that's very beautiful about the Knights of Columbus. 